Good morning, folks. The expected solar uptick has arrived. First, congratulations Raymond from South Carolina on winning the raffle yesterday. Enjoy the loot. Now, significant upticks in X-ray solar flares. We have several other things to hit today as well, but we are going to start with our star, and you can probably see the flashing and crackling at the sunspot group on the south right side beginning to depart. We had only minor CMEs, not directed at Earth, due to the impulsiveness of the flaring, but what an uptick in flaring we've had. The GOES X-ray flux chart shows our exiting the quieter conditions and entry into M-class solar flare bonanza over the last day or so. At least 13 M-class solar flares have occurred, and we'll go ahead and watch those again here. This light blue view is 131 angstroms of light, which focuses on X-ray and extreme ultraviolet. I've gone ahead and dimmed the return a bit over the public display so that we can more easily see the flare flashing at the active region. We confirm the lack of CME production with that flaring in 304 angstroms. This and the bronze-colored 193 angstrom view we saw near the start are where we would notice the ejected plasma, if there was any, and again, impulsive flares often lack those plasma bursts. More flaring could be expected today, as that sunspot group is still heading out of view, but is indeed turning further and further away from Earth-facing position. Definitely no shortage of other spots to watch, but they would need to develop a bit more in order to produce larger flares. Some quick notes here begin with a study of geomagnetically induced currents in the German power grids. They don't study this very often, but are trying to make progress here, and thus far are only able to reproduce the lower boundary of potential effects in the system. Their next efforts are underway. Excellent recent video from Dr. Robitaille, which follows up his solar spectrum video from a few days earlier. He continues hitting the solar abundances in support of the need for major change in the science. A point also made in a paper found on Archive recently, there is definitely a solar problem. It's real, and this team agrees, significant changes need to be made. Really have to give it to Electroverse here, a fantastic article on the cold spanking the world's taking right now. From Australia to South America to the USA to Europe, link is below and it's a fantastic compendium of recent frigid effects and those still ongoing. We mentioned Dr. Roy Spencer in last night's video. He's got the latest climate data in his latest article. Earth was only 0.17 degrees Celsius above average last month, which is basically nothing. Given the winter in the north and the apparent lack of summer so far in many parts of the south, I wouldn't so much mind a bit of global warming right about now. Too bad it's not real. If you missed our video last night, it is a doozy. Please check it out for all the ingredients anyone needs to make a clear and bulletproof climate argument. We greatly appreciate your support. Also check out the list of resources in the description box. And remember, only four available days left this year with open spots to grab your one-on-one -on -one call with me. Grab it if you want one next week. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.